Jasmine, order up. Well, we welcome you here to Sycamore Creek Church. You know, we're a church that meets in a diner. It's a little bit different than your normal church. Most people are surprised or they're like, how can you have church at a diner? We're going to take a look at several different ways and areas of baggage in our lives. I wouldn't miss this place for the world. I come here every Monday night. I love it. Order up. My name is Tom Arthur, and I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek United Methodist Church. Eighty percent of the people who are here at church in a diner are here because a friend invited them. And a lot of those people that have had a bad experience with the church in the past and are no longer involved in a church or have never set foot in a church. My name is Jim Redding and it's been over 50 or more years since I've been in a church. The physicality of it is, uh, it's very tense. But when I was asked to come to church in a diner, I thought, well, you know, it's not a church. It's a diner. Um, a diner makes a great congregation because we're all comfortable in the diner. There is life, real life going on around you. People in the kitchen are hollering for more cottage cheese. Does anybody can order anything they want. Lots of people talking. I'm walking in and out of tables talking to people. When waitresses are coming in and out in front of you and behind you. And it just seems real comfortable to reach over and talk to somebody that's sitting next to you in a diner as opposed to in a pew in a formal kind of setting. A diner isn't like your national chain restaurants. A diner is a family restaurant. And that's exactly what a church is, isn't it? It's family. Peace, friends. We found that following Jesus is rarely convenient. But getting together with other people to worship, to learn, to study, to grow has got to become more convenient. Now, it's all an echo of this verse from Romans 5, 6. We live in a post-Christian culture where Sunday morning isn't reserved for church. So the question is, are we going to adapt to it or are we just going to stay stuck and complain about that they're scheduling football games, soccer games, dance practices, whatever on a Sunday morning? Or are we going to go to those places where those people are already gathering? The person we're trying to reach, it's that uh, parent who's overworked. It's that person who would never step foot in a church. The people who work on Sunday morning and they can't make it. I, I work seven days a week. There's no way that I can attend church and run the business and take care of my family like I have to. And Lord answered a prayer. He brought the church to me. We, we have seen over time a kind of slow growth. Teresa Miller with the cute hat. Oh, and up there with my um, But tonight we packed the place out. We ran out of tables. We're just uh, like overflowing right now. This is uh, the biggest night that we've had so far. And we're trying to find seats for everybody uh, to fit in tonight. And I can also eat on the ledge. Okay. Um, a second venue is sort of out there on the, on the drafting board, perhaps a, a, in a pub or in a movie theater. Bowling alleys restaurants, libraries, fitness places. I never wanted to set foot in, in the church again, but I can handle church in a diner. It's just been uh, a very rewarding experience, and I'm glad I come. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through World Service Donations.